Hey, what's up, Solar Family? It's James here. Hopefully, you're doing amazing. Before I jump into the video, make sure you schedule your free solar strategy call. There's going to be a pop-up set around this video or down in the description. Schedule your free solar strategy call, especially if you're getting started in the industry or you're a seasoned veteran and you want to learn more sales and marketing strategies, make sure you do that. In this video, I want to give you the five tips on how to be successful in the solar industry. <laughs> And before I do, I just want to give you my background really quickly uh, because maybe this is your first video or whatnot, or maybe you've been watching a few of my videos and I haven't really spoke about my background much, right? So I've been in the energy industry for over 10 years. Uh, I used to own an energy consulting company back in the Bay Area. I'm actually out here in San Diego now, but as far as solar, I've been in solar for the last seven years. I uh, started out with Solar City back in the day. Uh, that's where I got my experiences and some of the, the success and the failures and that's how this whole thing started, right? I started as, as a consultant just like you and obviously as the, the pain of being consultant when I started experiencing a lot of those pains like knocking on doors or you know closing deals, sitting at the coffee table till like 10 o'clock in the evening and never seeing my family until I started experiencing a lot of those pains and I started implementing or learning things and, and hiring coaches and spending a lot of money to crack that code. But to make this long story very, very short, uh, over the last three and a half, four years now, I've been a solar sales and marketing coach. So these are the tips that I would have told myself five years ago when I first got started in the industry, and I know it would have helped me a lot, right? So the first tip is to commit, right? As easy as that sounds, a lot of consultants, they don't commit. They're saying, hey, you know what? I got a plan A, I got a plan B, this is more like a plan C. But if you really think about it, you know, I always ask them, what's going to make you the most money, right? Is it plan A, plan B, plan C with solar? And they always say, you know what, it's going to be solar, right? If you want to make money, right, and that's your objective is to make money, even if you're not so passionate about solar. And I don't think any solar consultant uh, out there, I think they're super passionate about solar because it's a, a great industry to be in. Obviously, we're changing the world. I mean, literally, because if you really think about it, if you want to make money, solar can really get you there, right? So I haven't seen a compensation plan anywhere out there that you can close one deal like in a, a Zoom meeting or maybe a face-to-face -face and you spend two hours with a homeowner and make, you know, five to $10,000, right? So it's very, very lucrative. So at the end of the day, the first thing that you need to do is commit because there's so many shiny objects out there that's going to divert you and what's going to happen is you're going to end up spinning your wheels you're going to be like a hamster in a wheel or a dog chasing its tail and at the end of the day the people that just stuck with it right especially the guys in the solar industry the ones that stuck with it and they didn't divert from you know selling solar or closing deals what happens is after you know two or three years down the road these people are really successful right because they focused on one thing and obviously there's going to be a lot of opportunities presented your way because there's a lot of people that always you know call me up or facebook messenger me and my wife and they're like hey check this out check this out uh this is a great opportunity this is the latest and greatest uh you know ground floor opportunity and i'm pretty sure you heard some of these term terminologies before and at the end of the day if it's not aligned to what you're currently doing right now which is solar which is saving the world saving the planet reducing you know homeowners energy bill if it's not aligned to that uh, purpose, that mission, you need to park that idea on the side. Even though it may be a great opportunity, you're gonna have to really park that to the side. Because what happens is in this industry, I think with any industry, just people in general, they start something, they may get a little bit of success, and the next thing you know, somebody hits them up about the latest and greatest gizmos and gadgets or uh, herbs and potions and lotions, and then off they go right? They, they divert and they're like, oh, this is going to be better than that. And then at the end of the day, if they just stuck to solar and they burned the bridge from the get go, they're going to be way further ahead financially if they just stuck around and dug a really deep hole in the solar industry. So tip number two to be successful in the solar industry is to learn the sales process. That's ground floor because during my solar strategy calls, the people I speak to, they're in different industries, right? Different types of sales in industries from car sales to retail sales to phone sales because sales guys sometimes we have that little chip on our shoulder right especially if you've been doing sales for like 20 25 years and i hear this a lot like, hey james i don't need to learn how to sell i've been selling since i was seven years old but at the end of the day what were you selling at seven years old 
right? And, and even now, right? Because if you've been selling something, say for example, cars, right? If you've been selling cars for the last 20 years, you're amazing at selling cars. Right, so if I walked in that dealership and I've been selling solar for the last, you know, seven, eight years, and I walk in there and said, hey dude, I don't need your, you know, sales training how to sell cars, I've been selling solar. My recipe and how I sell solar may not work for car sales. And when you're coming in the solar industry, you have to learn solar sales, right? It's one of those things that you have to really leave the ego at the door. That's great that you've been selling, you know, cars or, you know, retail for the last, you know, 20, 30 years. That's great, that can help but there's a proven methodologies of how to close solar deals that you need to learn. So that's the second tip for you and that's the foundation is learning the sales tip first. So the third tip for you to be successful in the solar industry is to learn how to automate. I'm pretty sure you heard that the wealth comes in a follow-up and it does, right? Even if you're a high closer, meaning that you're closing 60% of your deal and that's really, really high, right? Any industry. So keep in mind that you're closing 60% of your deals. What happens to the other 40%, right? So let's put this in numbers, right? So if you uh, sat down with 10 homeowners and you close six of those, which is 60%, what happens to the other four? Because they may not be ready right now, but that doesn't mean that they'll never be ready to move forward solar. So what are you doing to stay top of mind? Right, because if you're just the, the typical sales guy that you know you move on to the next deal and you know you may remember to call or maybe text this homeowner once in a blue moon, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So learn how to automate your sales process because that's gonna bring in another 20 plus percent of sales. And keep in mind the job was already done. You already pitched the pitch to the homeowner, and basically the homeowner didn't move forward. But if you have an automated machine that follows up with this homeowner, you're going to be able to close 20 plus percent on the back end, right? For a job that's already done. So the third tip for you to be successful in this industry is learn how to automate your sales process. Tip number four to be successful in the solar industry is have an exit strategy. No, I'm not talking about exit strategy outside the solar industry, but an exit strategy as far as canvassing, tabling events, so basically the traditional type of marketing, you have to come up with an exit strategy because there's a small percentage of you know closers out there that can maintain a canvassing type of um, marketing business model basically forever. But if you're like me, I can't sustain that business model, right? So my suggestion to you is continue to canvas, continue to knock on doors, continue to do the marketing strategy that you're doing now to generate leads to close deals, but have an exit strategy to generate leads while you sleep, that's basically learning how to do social media. But obviously it's gonna take time to position yourself as an expert, but remember, you're here for the long haul, right? You've committed, you burn your bridges, you're like here for the next you know, two to three years. So create something that's gonna bring you business. And a lot of times people buy leads or they have you know, a, a marketing company run ads for them. Yeah, that's great, you may be able to close some deals from there, but what's gonna happen when that particular marketing company decides to cut you off? Meaning that they're done with you, you know, they got another account that's gonna buy all the leads that they're currently selling you know, with you, what's gonna happen? That's gonna really, you know, crumble your business and more than likely it's gonna literally, you know, leave you broke. So learn how to do online marketing yourself. And eventually you can hire out somebody to do the marketing for you, but at least at the end of the day, if they decide to bail on you, it's all good. You can still take over and still run the campaigns yourself. So my fourth tip for you is have an exit strategy so you can generate leads while you sleep. So finally, tip number five, to be successful in the solar industry is to invest in yourself and hire a coach. I can't stress this enough, right? Because by hiring a coach, it's gonna significantly cut your learning curve, especially if you're just starting out, right? Because you're right here at point A and your coach is probably X, maybe X, maybe Y, even Z, right? So imagine how much time and how much money the coach already spent to get to this level and you're here, 
right? So I honestly feel that the fastest way you're gonna you know, make money in this industry and to cut the learning curve is invest in yourself so you can cut that learning curve significantly, right? So you don't have to make the same exact mistakes that you know that person or that coach already did, right? So instead of you investing you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on Facebook marketing because you feel like you can do it yourself, it's easy, just click a couple buttons. Yeah, it's easy, but you have to have a strategy so instead of investing thousands of dollars that's probably gonna be wasted, hire somebody that's already been there and done that. I can't stress this enough because as you start investing in yourself, whether that's hiring a coach, a mentor, or going to events, as much as you invest in yourself, there's a direct correlation to how much income you're gonna make in this industry. So I can't stress this enough that the people that invest in themselves they're the ones that's actually getting ahead because they're getting the latest and greatest strategies. They're getting all the, the, the strategies so they can actually cut the learning curve and they actually grow a lot faster. So again, I can't stress this enough. Tip number five for you to be really successful in this industry is to hire a coach. So that's all I have for you. So hopefully you got some value from this video. But before you take off, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click that bell notification so as soon as I release a video, you're gonna get notified. And if you haven't scheduled your free solar strategy call yet, make sure you click the pop-up somewhere around this video or click the description right underneath this video and schedule your free solar strategy call. And I'd love to dive into more detail if you have more questions about these five tips or anything about this industry, whether you're just starting out or maybe you're a seasoned veteran, I'd love to jump on a call with you and cut that learning curve a bit. Other than that, happy selling. Peace.